Hello everyone, it's me, and today I've got some holographic nails, cause what else do you see on this channel? But first, everyone is asking me where is part 2 to how to cheat a water marble? I assure you it will be up sometime next week-ish, and then there'll be a part 3 the next week-ish after that, and maybe a part 4, it depends. Now back to today's very important lesson. I started out with a plain black base coat because I knew I was gonna do something with rainbow and hollows which look best with black. It's basic science. Now my objective today was to try out nail foils and this was one of them. Look at that amazing black hollow. But it didn't really work out and I ended up using this rainbow one instead. Not to worry, I will personally take you through all my trials and tribulations. So this is what they call foil glue and it has no labels anywhere, so I forget where it's from. And because it's glue, I immediately begin to hate it. I thought it would be cool to make my entire nail black hollow foil, so I just put the glue everywhere. You gotta let it dry just until it's no longer white. Take your nail foil, and you're supposed to stick it directly onto the nail, ugly side face down. That's the side that's no hollow. Ooh, but look, let's not forget what's on my other hand. Today I'm sporting a classic silver linear hollow that every girl or boy or cat needs in their collection. It's really a timeless classic. I put the link below. Now back to this. I pressed it firmly down on my nail, but hey, funny story. The first time I tried foil nails back in Christine Fetus days, I put the foil on upside down and I put the shiny part on my nail. I mean, doesn't that make sense? You put on your nail what you want to transfer on your nail? But I guess I've never even been good at things like knowing which way to put printer paper in a printer. So maybe you shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> Anyways, now I go to peel off the foil and well, f I guess I shouldn't be wearing a peel-off face coat. On the bright side, if you can't get your peel-off face coat to peel off, now you know what to do. So then I accepted defeat and started over with a regular base coat. Oh, I hate when I have to use a regular base coat. Polished my nails in black again, put on the glue, and then I put the black foil over top and it did the same thing and just wouldn't transfer. But I forgot to film it, so you don't have any evidence and you'll just have to trust me. Believe me, it makes me so sad too. The black hollow foil was a lie. And then I needed some guidance, so I obviously looked to a hollow top coat. Get the way, Charlie! Get the way! So I slapped her on a freshly black polished nail. Still wasn't sure where I was gonna go from here, but that's part of my process, okay? It's like my nails are part of a galaxy in outer space. Mine is the dying part because of the air. Or lack of air. I'm not sure. So my plan from there was after I let a quick dry top coat dry, I took one of these triangle cyclone nail vinyls. Illuminati confirmed! Stick it on my nail and then add the foil glue on top of the vinyl. Forgot to film that part. I decided to try some rainbow foil because I know it's worked in the past. Remember these nails? Probably not. These were before the Simply Nailogical voiceover era began. Anyways, this was clearly not working. I suspect it was too challenging for the foil to completely lay itself down flat in between the nail vinyl spaces. And I peeled it off and it looked like nothing. I did it on another nail and it looked better, but the pattern I was picturing still wasn't there. And again, I had to remove my nail polish with nail polish remover. It was terrible. Repeat all the basic steps. And so finally I came to my senses and decided it would be best if I just stuck with a simple design. Good idea, simply nail logical. <laughs> So I filled in a simple deep V shape with the foil glue and right away peeled up the nail vinyls. Remember to let the foil glue dry just until it's not white. Lightly place the foil over top of the sticky part with the colored side up and you see that slight separation of the foil from the film itself? That's what's supposed to happen and what did not happen with the black foil that failed me. When it's pretty obvious that all the foil has transferred onto your nail, just gently peel up the film and voila! That's so cool. Now we must address a common fear that nailies have when using nail foils. Will a top coat dull the shininess? Naturally, it was time to do experiments. I test first with a linear hollow top coat and then a clear quick dry top coat. And then I realized, oh wait, I'm dumb. Cause I'm testing on the clear film part, but it's the foil underneath that's actually on my nail. How to test you. So I put some foil glue on one of my silicone mats and then I put the foil on top of that.
what it looks like when your genius idea isn't genius. I guess it has something to do with the silicone not wanting to stick. Science is holding up this experiment. I'm gonna proceed anyways. I tried a quick dry top coat, a linear hollow, and it's clear that this linear hollow is definitely dulling the foil. So I tried a couple other different types of hollow top coats because I'm not giving up on the hollow. And I settled on this scattered hollow because it did not dull the foil. And come to think of it, this scattered hollow works out pretty good for this design because it kind of looks like I'm on an outer space mission. I added a glossy top coat on top of the hollow, which wouldn't affect the foil because it already has a layer in between it. How cool is this brush though? I'm testing out a new glossy top coat, but it's not even out yet, so there's no point in telling you what it is. One day, my children, one day. Now welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, hollow dance at the Space Jam. All right, all right, all right. I could not find a karaoke version of that song because that song is like as ancient as I am. Anyways, hope you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe so that you can be alerted when I upload How to Cheat at Water Marbling Part 2. And also because you just want to join the holosexuals. It's a holosexual nation. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!